Hey guys, Francis here. In the previous video, we were left with this question. Is it possible to modify the experimental design so that the anions will be able to migrate faster than the cations and the neutral species? If it's possible, how do we achieve this? In this video, we're going to learn about the reverse electro-osmotic flow by looking at how to reverse the flow based on what we have learned so far. Previously, we have learned that the migration rate of a solute is equal to the sum of the electrophoretic velocity and the electro-osmotic velocity. And the reason why cations migrate faster as compared to the anions is because the cations are attracted towards the same direction as the electro-osmotic flow. Therefore, in order to allow the anions to be eluted first, we need to reverse the electro-osmotic flow. And when we reverse the electro-osmotic flow, the bulk solution will be moving towards the anode instead of the cathode. But how do we achieve this? In the case of normal electro-osmotic flow that we have learned, the sample flows from the anode to the cathode. On the other hand, in the case of reverse electro-osmotic flow, we want to introduce our sample at the cathode and let it flow towards the anode. This can be done easily simply by changing the potential to a negative voltage. Now that we have applied a negative voltage, let's see if the electro-osmotic flow will be reversed. Hey? How come the direction of the electro-osmotic flow is still towards the cathode? What's wrong with our modification? If we take a closer look, the diffuse layer still have a higher concentration of cations than anions. That's why when the voltage is applied, the diffuse layer will still be attracted towards the cathode, dragging the bulk solutions along. Therefore, in order to reverse the electro-osmotic flow, we need to have a diffuse layer that's rich in anions so that it will be attracted towards the positively charged anode. To achieve this condition, the silica surface needs to be positively charged so that they can attract more anions in both the fixed layer and the diffuse layer. So the next question is, how do we make the silica surface positively charged. This can be done by treating the capillary walls with electro-osmotic flow modifiers. The most commonly used flow modifiers are the alkyl ammonium salts, such as CTAP, which has a long hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head. When optimal amount of CTAP is added to the buffer solution, the positively charged ammonium ions become attached to the negatively charged silica surface. And due to the Van der Waals interactions between the hydrophobic tails of CTAP, a second layer of CTAP will be formed, making the capillary surface positively charged, thereby forming a fixed layer and a diffuse layer that has higher concentration of anions than cations. As a result, when the negative voltage is applied, the anion-rich diffuse layer will be attracted towards the positively charged anode, dragging the bulk solution together. In other words, the electro-osmotic flow is reversed. To recap, in order to reverse the electro-osmotic flow, first of all, we need to apply a negative voltage across the capillary. Secondly, we need to add an optimal amount of electro-osmotic flow modifier, such as CTAP, into the buffer solution to make the capillary surface positively charged. As for the electrophoretic mobility, the same principles applies. When an electric field is applied, the cations are attracted towards the cathode, the anions are attracted towards the anode, while the neutral species remain unaffected. We can find the migration rate of individual anions simply by combining the electrophoretic velocity and the electro-osmotic velocity. Therefore, overall, 
the anions will migrate the fastest, followed by the neutral species, and the cations will migrate the slowest. In this particular C experiment, we'll be using the reverse electroosmotic flow design, since we are more interested in the capillary electrophoresis of inorganic anions. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture series on capillary electrophoresis. Thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you love it. See you guys next time. Bye.